Hola, hola, familia. We made it. We are here. Let me just check in here with Instagram a second. And we are going to rock it together. Please let me know where are you tuning in from. Would love to see the vortex we create today. Thank you all for being here. Familia, we're almost there. Okay, okay, it looks like we're live. Beautiful, thank you all. Instagram family, Facebook family, one family. Thank you all for being here. So good to see so many people tuning in. I love it when we go live and connect together. Thank you for being here. Especially this theme, I've, I've had many of you write to me like, oh, I'm just having the, the pattern that happens every year, usually around this time, right? Like March is starting, like I kind of let go of my goals. I had to let go of my diet. I had to let go of everything I wrote at the beginning of the year. Now I'm kind of done. I can't follow up, right? And it's, it's sad, guys. It's sad to see uh, this happening and not finding the cause, the core of it all, right? Because we can see this, we can observe it. We usually get lost in it and actually get, you know, sad, depressed, we get affected by it, or we kind of look somewhere else, right? But deep inside, we know we set a goal and we didn't achieve it. It didn't happen. We had a dream, we had an intention, and it didn't happen. And what happens is like after time, you do that one year, you do that another, another, and then there's a part of you that's almost like you lose faith. And even though you're like, oh no, I believe, you know, I believe in the universe, in God, I believe in manifestation, I believe in creating things, I know I'm here for a reason. Even though we think that, um, many times our unconscious mind is saying, no, look, every year, you set up all these goals and you don't achieve them. So that is not truth. I don't believe you, right? Very, very deep inside. And that's how we start kind of draining ourselves and draining our capacity to manifest and our capacity to do and our capacity to, 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 to embody the gifts. Why we're here? Why are you here, right? We sometimes forget and we get lost in the work we have right now or the relationships we have right now. And we forget kind of like to look at the big picture. We are a soul living a human experience and embodying all the gifts that we came to embody. We, we forget this, right? Life goes so crazy. It's so focused on the outside, which is amazing. We love life, right? But we kind of forget about the inside, the inside work, the inside job, right? The inside alchemy. Like how can we shift all these parts that are holding us back? So this is part of what, what I wanted to share with you. Please let me know you are excited about this. Let me know if you have any question. Let me know if you've been a procrastinator, right? That's going to be done after this, I promise you. If you've been in self-sabotage, if you've been lost in that, I can tell you I have many times and I have, uh, I have kind of um, betrayed myself. That's how I see it. When I know I am here to live my life at my maximum potential, when I know I am here to have the best relationships, when I know I am here to um, live in abundance and share that abundance with the world, and for some reason that's not happening in my life. There's been a part of me that just like, ah, oh, it's in pain. And it's not in pain because I'm not manifesting outside. As you know, I'm a jungle man, right? I live in a jungle and um, I'm good with some coconut water if I have or some spring water I have around and whatever fruit I can collect from around and, and I'm, I'm good with that. I don't need anything else. That's who I am, right? Um, 
But at the same time, it's not about because these material things is gonna fulfill me. It's more about, am I really embodying my full potential? Like, if I came to be a Ferrari, why am I playing a messed up, like Volkswagen, all messed up, that doesn't even work, you know? Like, from the 1950s, which I love Volkswagen and the style, but don't get me wrong, it's more about the quality that why are you playing you're something you're not? Why are you conforming and tolerating that? You're not that. You're not that. You have, you, you're here to, to live the best life you can live, guys. That's who you are. That's what you deserve. And that, that's what we call living from the soul. Living from your highest self or your highest potential, however you want to see it, right? That's how I um, commit every day in my life to live from that space, right? So good to hear from you guys. Morning, everyone. Hola, familia. So many people writing. I love, I love to see you present always. I've been in self-sabotage recently. Yeah, Svetlana, I know. I've been there too. I can relate to procrastination. I know. I know. Okay. Yeah, it's good to know, right? Seeing the Instagram here also, connecting. Thank you, guys. Thank you for showing up and, and, and sharing this. Please share this live stream. Please share this with your people. There's a lot of people suffering because of this. And this is why I want to go in the first step um, of burning self-sabotage, burning procrastination, right? And it's about observing that part of us that procrastinates. Because we usually are lost in the character, right? Like you're lost in the movie, in that part that's playing and like, oh, there I am again. Like I said I wasn't gonna eat sugar and I ate double, right? <laughs> I said I was going to the gym and I didn't go and it's been a week. I actually paid the whole year and I went only two weeks. Like, oh my God, right? <laughs> the Punisher, right? The Punisher and the victim. Those two guys playing in, in, in our in our in our in our in inner game, right? And they're just characters. We call them ego character. That's not your soul. Your soul will never punish you. Your soul will never judge you. Okay? If you have judgment for yourself because you have procrastinated, because you have self-sabotage, because you, you're just naturally being trained to be distracted, you train your mind to focus. You're not born that way, okay? You train yourselves, but they never did that. In school, many times, they actually numbed our potential instead of helping us discover who we were and the gifts we had. They tried to make us like another brick in the wall. Like we're all the same and we're not all the same. We all have different gifts. We all have different ways of learning. We all have different ways of approaching life, of seeing life, of feeling, of thinking. There's many different ways and you can create yourself, but you also have a soul. You have an essence that's unique. Nobody has what you have. Nobody. You can't compare to anyone else. The frequencies and the codes you can channel and embody are unique, right? So let's start by that. So when you know that, when you remember this from a soul perspective and you're procrastinating yourself and you said, I'm going to do this and you didn't do it. Or you actually did the opposite, right? And you see yourself falling in the trap of feeling bad about it. That's the first step to change it, guys. The first step to change it is, are you capable to observe? Are you capable to just see it? No tags, no good or bad, nothing. Just see it. Oh, wow, interesting. I said I was going to the gym. Here I am checking Facebook. Oh, interesting. I said I'm, 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 I'm in a diet. Here I am eating the chocolate cake and it tastes so good. <laughs> This is my recommendation. Start joking and having fun with those parts of yourself. Trust me. I know it's hard because we get lost in this kind of victim, uh, judge kind of thing, right? The victim and the judge playing the same game at the same time. 
again, those are characters. Look at the characters. Look at the judge that comes up and says, why are you doing that? You said you were going to, oh my God, there you go again. Oh, you're not good. You're not good at that. You're not enough. Oh yeah, you think you're that. You're just a dreamer thinking you're going to manifest that. What are you doing? Like all those voices that are there that you actually have nurtured, right? You have nurtured, you have said yes to them. It's like having a friend beside you saying like, hey, go jump from that bridge. And you're like, okay, yeah, you're right. I'm going to jump from... No, that's ridiculous. Why am I going to jump from that bridge? No, doesn't make sense. Let me actually and have discernment who I'm going to listen to in my life and who I'm going to let go of. It's the same. All those friends you have outside of you guys, you have them inside of you. Start seeing all the characters you have. And like, oh, yeah... I'm not good enough. I did it again. Oh my God. I'm the worst. Like, oh really? And the other voice like, yes, yes, again. Oh my God. Now I'm going to be more strict. Now I'm going to fast for 10 days because I need punishment. And that's the way I'm going to learn. <laughs> you know, you see all the characters that come through, but they're all characters. They're not going to get you to the core of it. The core of it is your soul. Give me a yes, give me some love, whatever you want to share. If this is resonating with you, there's some laughter there, right? Just, just being able to see yourself, just being able to observe the relief that that gives, okay? That's step number one. Okay, lots of comments here. People in Facebook, my familia here is very active. Yes. Oh, yeah. They're very active. In, in, in Instagram, I don't see so much action, but it's okay. Take your time, guys. I love when you get back to me because then we're like, okay, we're in the same channel. Okay, you're loving this. Okay, more of that. And if this is not good, you're not feeling like good with this, just let me know. Ask me a question. We're here to share this, guys, because I've been so many times in the game of procrastination. I've been the procrastinator and I've been the victim too right? I've been both. <laughs> and I've been all of it. So how can we come out of that cycle, that loop that just going to drain you? It's going to kill you. It's going to kill your creativity. It's going to kill your inspiration. It's going to kill your energy. And you're just going to become whatever. Let, let me just deal with what I have. And you know, stay in the work where I'm at right now and uh, with the amount of money that I'm creating right now and with the people I have right now. Let me just conform. How many times I became a mediocre? Huh? How many times I became a mediocre? Because I just conformed with what there was because I thought I wasn't good enough to manifest more. So many times, guys, I played that story until I said enough. This is enough. Let me get to the core of it. And that's what I want to talk to you about today. I don't want to just go and tell you like, oh, don't get distracted. Just give yourself 10 minutes every hour for Facebook and Instagram. And then you got to focus and not be distracted. I know there's a lot of stuff going out there like that. And you can do that. Go for it. I've tried it all. Some, some of it works. It's strategy. You know, it's very mental. You can create your own agenda. And, you know, I've done all of that, you know. I just don't work like that. Sooner or later, I rebel about it. I don't follow the agenda. I don't follow the structure. I kind of like go my own way. And then I feel I, I fall into the same hole. <laughs> and it's like, okay. Okay, that's not working for me. I just, I just don't work just to such a, at a mental level. I need to go to the core of it. If you don't know quantum flow, the methodology I teach, and many of us teach it around the world, uh, it's a methodology that is to go and release those patterns from your brain, from your nervous system. You actually rewire the neural pathways where the electricity is flowing, where your behavior is coming from. Let's go to the core of it and not get lost in the outside, in the face, in the mask. You know, it's like having like, like a wound, right? And trying to cover the wound, but you're not healing the wound. It's exactly the same thing. You're, the wound is always going to be there. You can put some makeup, right? You can say, yeah, I live the best life ever in Facebook. But really, are you living the best life? Are you really embodying it? Are you really happy with your life? 
Or are you just posting amazing photos and making others believe that you have that life, but you're not really fulfilled. You're not really complete. You're not really like in wholeness, right? So this is the path that we share. That's the path of quantum flow. And it's the path of like observation first. Observe your life. Observe yourself. Observe your sabotage. Observe your procrastination. Your procrastination. <laughs> observe your distraction. Observe your lack of inspiration, your lack of creativity, you're not feeling good enough, your jealousy, your envy, whatever comes up, guys, it's all characters. Don't get lost in that story because you're not that. The more you nurture that, the more you think you are the character. Name them, put names on them. I used to name them. They all would have different names, funny names, you know? And they, I'm like, oh, okay. There you are, grumpy. I used to get very grumpy, very frustrated, very angry, very easily. You know, my liver was very messed up, full of toxins. And I wasn't, you know, dealing with my liver, right? And then the liver not only is full of toxins, but then that relates to the neural pathway and the meridian, the channel of energy that's related to that organ. Every organ is related to that, right? That's why, why we do acupuncture or acupressure or shatsu or, or um, Thai massage. All these massages are based on working with the meridians of the body that are related to the organs. So you work with the meridian, you work that goes right into the nervous system, you work with the organ, you release the organ, you release the pattern from the organ that goes all the way into your brain because you know organ nervous system brain it's one whole thing and when you study kinesiology you see that there's a muscle also related to that so once you hack everything and you see that you can enter through all the places available you've got it covered you go to the core of it you're not lost anymore in the character Okay, this is what we do with quantum flow. And if you want to be part of the methodology we're teaching, we're doing a three day challenge around all of this, guys. Three day challenge for free. It's my gift to you. It's called Biohacking Manifestation Challenge. How to release procrastination, self sabotage, uh, distractions, not feeling good enough, all the things that you don't want to be hooked in, right? But they're there. You can't run away from them. They kind of come out naturally and you're like, whoa, how do I do? You go into the nervous system. You biohack the nervous system, right? Through breath, through movement, through meditation, through mindset, through quantum science, like all these things we explore deeply. It's a full workshop, guys. It's like a $500 workshop I give for free. I ask nothing more than you giving the best of you, more than you like being the best version of you. That's all I ask. And you then helping your family or helping your, your friends or helping your community. That's my way to give. I, I do a lot of these things. This fills up me up more than, you know, whatever I can do that I charge or not. This really fills me up. I love it. And we create such a beautiful, beautiful community and tribe together. So, yeah, if you want to be part of this, just comment below with manifestation and we will share with you this methodology and you can be part of it and put it in practice right now. Okay? So what 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 so you understand what we're gonna be going through is this methodology of like you become the observer first, okay? Learn to be the observer. Train yourself to be the observer in your life. Once you've got that, okay, you go to release whatever is holding you back in your mindset in your nervous system in your behaviors in your habits you let go of those places inside of you or those belief systems right because it's all about belief system but that belief system is somewhere in your nervous system too I, I see a lot of people just changing the belief system that's just changing the tip of the iceberg you're not getting to the core so they have some results but they don't go to the core of it all okay so once you go to the core it's like Okay, let me look at the belief system. This has been running my field for a long time. Let me look at the core. Where is this coming from? 
Oh, the belief that I won't do it. I'm dreaming too big. That I'm not good enough. I can't focus. I can't really make money. I'm not a coach. I'm not a healer. I'm not a la la la. What are they going to say? Whatever that is, that's a belief. But that belief is not enough. You just kind of doing an affirmation that's, that goes against that belief. That's not how it works, right? That's going to be just the surface. How it works, you go to the core of that belief. So when you get to the core of the belief, which is in your brain, it's in your nervous system, it's been like you have, rewi you have wired your nervous system in a certain way. And that's why you act in a certain way. That's why you think in a certain way. It's just natural, okay? It happens natural. That's not who you are. It happens naturally. That we call the personality. It has been something you created in this life, okay? It has been created because of our teachers, our friends, our parents, society, the outside world has created our personality, okay? And we have let that happen. Now we can become the leaders, the masters of our temples, the masters of our nervous system, the masters of our brain, of our life, and start owning what we deserve to live. And we do it from the core of our being. So again, you first observe it, then you go and you say, okay, I'm gonna shift that belief. That belief just does, 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 that's not my truth. That's not who I am. I'm here to live this kind of life and that's not reflecting, I don't tolerate that anymore. Okay, so you shift it, you shift it, right? You shift the belief and you shift it in your body. You let go of that memory that's in your nervous system, that's making you repeat the same things, right? In the same way, you let it go, and then you start acting in a different way, naturally. It takes some time, yeah? I don't promise you this is from one day to the other, but you work on it, you go into it, okay? So you do the alchemy, and then you connect with your passion, who you are, why are you here? You've cleared that, right? You've cleared already. There's some space. You are tapped into something bigger, which is your soul, which is your gifts, which is why you're here, right? And it's always important to come back to this, no matter what that is, even if you don't have clear now, make that your priority, your intention. And I'm going to tell you why. And this is what worked for me. Once I really found my purpose, I'm still finding it, but I found more, you know, a big chunk. Guys, I wake up in the morning that like, I just want to rock the world. I want to start, you know, you know, shake my body a little bit, meditate, like move whatever I need to move to get in that state. I usually do quantum flow, which is this methodology I'll be sharing with you in the three day manifestation challenge. It's very fast and easy. You can do 10 minutes, 15 minutes. Sometimes I don't have time for that or I wake up later or I'm not in the mood. So I'm like, you know what? I'm just going to do some breath. I'm going to go for a run. I'm going to go for a walk. Whatever moves the energy. I'm not attached to a certain way. Okay. It's just important to move the energy, not get stuck, right? And usually, I don't even have to force myself to do it. It happens naturally. I wake up in inspiration. I wake up saying, thank you. Now, this is another beautiful day where I have all the opportunities to like tap into my purpose more, you see? But because I'm already tapped into my purpose, I'm already like, I've already done the work to really accept why I'm here who I am, and how I'm going to be sharing that purpose with the world. You get me? Let me know if you're feeling me, if you understand. I'm going to the core, okay? So you first observe, you start, you, you, you get off that, that kind of loop of like, I'm the procrastinator, I'm the self-sabotager, I'm not good, I won't do it, all that judgment. You get off the victim, you, you start seeing all those characters and stop feeding them, okay? Step number one. Stop feeding those characters because you're not that. Don't feed them anymore so they start dying slowly, right? They won't be there anymore. They'll be weak. They'll be weak to a point that you'll be like, oh my God, whoa, I'm really thinking that. It doesn't even touch you. It doesn't even move you. There's no emotion. Take some time, but you will do it. Okay, so that's step number one. Step number two, let me alchemize it. Let me transform it. Let me move the energy, right? So I let go of whatever's clogging me. Whatever is not making me feel good, whatever is not letting me have energy, whatever is making me like crave something, 
right? Crave sugar, crave sex, crave having a relationship, crave having money. Like all that craving is coming from a place of scarcity. It's coming from a place of I need something in order to be happy. And it's false. That's not going to work. Don't play that game. Okay, so what we do is we let go of all that need, we let go of all that scarcity mindset, we let go of all that I need to or I should in order to, right? And then you come down to like, okay, no, this is what I love to do. This is who I am. This is why I'm here. Whatever that is, guys, it can be helping people. It can be dancing. It can be playing. Even if you can't tune into your purpose right now, right, and you can't make money with it, start doing more of it. Start the day with things you love. Why are you going to go to the gym and sweat and, like, work out and, like, lift weights and, like, have a trainer, like, kicking your ass, right? Why are you going to do it if you don't like it? Why don't you find a way that you're going to move your body in a way that you like it? You know what I mean? Why do we get so fixated that the results I want, I only can achieve them this way? If you're not liking it, what you're doing, there's a reason. There's something else for you. If you're not liking what you're doing and you're not feeling good about it, it's not aligned with you, there's a reason for that. You're doing it from a place of forcing. That's all, guys. You feel me? And we're fixated that it has to be that way instead of like, okay, why is this not flowing? Why am I not liking to go to the gym? Why am I not liking to, to you know, read this book I think I need to read? Why am I not liking um, forcing myself to certain relationships that I really can't stand right now? I don't want to be around those people, but I force myself. Why? Which part, where is the tyrant inside of me that's for, forcing those things? Where is the dictator? <laughs> I found my dictator. Have you found yours? <laughs> dictator doesn't work, guys. The tyrant doesn't work. The tyrant's going to come and get shit done for a certain amount of time. And you can, you can, you, you know, you can wire yourself into that. But that's not the way of flow. That's not your optimal flow. That's not where creativity is. That's not where bliss is. That's not where um, joy is. Because it's coming from a place of, let me do this. I want to achieve this. I need to do that. And that's it. There's no argument around it. Yeah, and then you're going to be old and have a lot of money and have achieved a lot of your goals and you won't be happy. You're going to have pain all over your body. Your mind is going to be all over the place. Maybe Alzheimer or something like that because you, 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 you weren't healthy. You weren't feeling good. You weren't empowered. You weren't really living your full potential in every area of your life, in every layer of your being. Okay, let me know if this is resonating for you guys. If you have any question. Whoa, lots of lots of comments around here. That's so good, guys. Yeah, I love hearing your comments. I love hearing your insights. And if you will have any questions too, I'm here, okay? Yeah, lots of interaction in Instagram. That's good, guys. We're getting, we're getting, we're getting it. We're getting it. That's good. Love to see you guys show up. Sorry I haven't been that present in Instagram. You guys are amazing. I can see all of you and I follow a lot of you too. So thank you for, for showing up. I'm going to go into your lives too, okay? Into your, into your Instagram lives. I'll be there too. Okay, guys, I'm not seeing any questions. Looks like we're all aligned, right? I have an amazing, amazing community showing up here. Yes, okay, a lot of people resonating with this, yes. So first of all, procrastination happens because we are judging it. And that's what's going to feed it, guys. We keep judging. Oh, I'm a procrastinator. Oh, I never achieve my goals. Oh, I'm that. You know, I'm that. You identify yourself with that. And that's the first trap. You can do whatever you want. You can plan every end of the year that you're going to start in a different way. This time is going to be different. I promise you, you won't get there because you're not getting to the core of it. 
the core, release whatever is holding you back, whatever is not making you feel good in your life, whatever you're carrying, right, from the past. You're not forgiving. You're too hard on yourself. Um, you got wounded at some point in your life and you're still carrying that. You don't trust. You don't feel safe. Whatever is there for you, I can tell you, I can check all the boxes, everything I said and so much more. I've, I've had a tough life, guys. You know, in order to manifest my life right now and the partner I live with right now and the land I have right now, and I'm, 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 I don't even have it because I don't even feel I own it, but I'm like the, the, the guardian of this land, you know, and other people are coming in the land too and we're sharing the paradise this is. And like, this is the vision, guys, I had since I was 15 years old. I could see myself living like this. I could see myself eating the fruit straight from the trees, drinking the spring water, having ocean views, living 10 minutes away from the best surfing beaches. You know, I could see myself doing this. And you, you think I, I wouldn't laugh at myself when I dream about that? I didn't have parents to just pay and buy that for me. No way, guys. I had to create it myself. I created my life. This, 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 this you see here, I created it myself. It didn't happen naturally, you know? And my business and my way to help people and quantum flow method, all of it, it was many, many years of work, of refinement, of going back and over and over again, checking in and how can I refine it? How can I make it better, you know? Until I created the manifestation method. It's a manifestation method and it works. It's worked, it, it's worked for me and for thousands of people around the world, right? So this is what I'm talking about. When you understand because it's all about science i'm a scientist guys i love to understand i can't just do that breath work because that they say that's good or the law of attraction because they say it works and there's a movie around it the secret and whatever and and i can't just like have that mindset because someone tells me it works you know i need to understand i want to understand and that's what I did with, with mine, like whatever was just wound is I've learned from like the most amazing healers and shamans from all over the world, guys, like amazing guys. Like if I would tell you that, right, really like bring into nothingness and they manifest a crystal right in their hand. Like I've seen the craziest things you can imagine because it's people, it's beings that are in that level of manifestation. You know, I've seen it myself. And for me, like what I've seen from all of them, what I've learned from all of them is you got to go to the energetics of it. You can't just stay in the mind. You can't just stay in the, in the feeling. You got to understand how the energetics works from the nervous system. Your nervous system is pure electricity. And if the electricity is not flowing in your body, of course you're going to wake up and like, oh, I just want to eat some bread and some sugar and some coffee. And then let me see like what... Where life is going to take me. I have all these goals, but let me see if I'm going to be able to manifest them, right? Rather than if you wake up with the electricity flowing in your body, you're going to be full of energy, full of ideas. Guys, I usually don't eat till I'm like 12 p.m. Naturally, I fast. Not because I'm in a regime, not because I'm doing a diet. No other reason more than I have so much energy that I don't even want to eat. Why am I going to eat to bring my energy down? I don't need to eat. I drink some water here and there, you know, a little cacao maybe, a little, a little bit of uh, a superfood coffee, you know, just a little bit, right? Like at 10 a.m. If I, if I need, you know, just to wake up my energy a little bit. Guys, I go naturally. Intermittent fasting, 18 hours. Naturally. I don't force it. I've trained myself to do that because that's how your body is made. The intelligence in your body is waiting for you to wake it up. It's waiting for you to say yes to it. It's waiting for you to understand it in order to not get lost in all the distractions and all the games of the mind. The mind has a lot of games, right? A lot of emotional games too going on, a lot of roller coasters, right? There's so much going on. We're such a complex being. But if we don't know ourselves and we don't understand ourselves and we, we, we don't become like the best parents we can be for ourselves, the ones that love ourselves, that don't judge ourselves, don't point fingers at ourselves and are really in a place of full compassion and love for ourselves and patience for our own process, I promise you, 
you will manifest your dream life. I promise you, it's waiting for you. You gotta say yes. You gotta have patience and you gotta work with a methodology backed up by science that works. Whatever the methodology you can find, it's all welcome. What matters is something that works, that has a backup of science explaining why it works. It's not just a random thing from a random guru asking you random money of whatever and putting you under their feet and making you feel you're below them and you're not at their same level. If you find someone like that, I recommend you to back off, to observe, take it easy, you know? Just look at their lives, look around, look at their people, look at the people they're around. You know, start observing more instead of like <gasps> getting hypnotized by all these people. So many coaches I see around, so many leaders, so many teachers, just like really hooking people, you know, just like into their own thing. And it's just a blah, blah, blah. There's nothing behind it. They're just selling smoke. And they're all selling. They're not even giving anything for free. Because if they give far stuff for free, people are going to find out that that stuff doesn't work. <laughs> so they all just hypnotize you and make you pay and go into it, not even feel it and try it for themselves. And then you're hooked. And then you're like, oh my God, but I've spent like hundreds or even thousands of dollars. I was one of those. And I didn't even have results. Like what's going on? I don't even feel better. You know, which is it's all about the state. You know what I mean? So that's going on a lot. You have to be very careful. Where are you putting your energy, your presence? And this is for me why I love offering this three-day, for free, three-day manifestation. Let's come together. Let's understand the science so you can practice it yourself. Let's do the work. Let's breathe together. Let's, let's understand all this and how it works in the body so we understand what does it mean to live in a manifestation state. Manifestation is a state. Abundance, prosperity is a state. It's not a thing. It's not out there. It's a state when you are in your full creative self, full genius, full energy, full inspiration, you are tapped in to the universal energy flowing through you because the universe is always flowing through you. The thing is, are you full of blockages that you're not letting that energy flow? That's the whole thing. So how do we remove those blockages and transform them in order for them to not get lost? Because procrastination and self-sabotage, for example, and distraction all come from blockages in the nervous system, right? They all come from this. And then you create a habit. You encounter the blockage. Let's say you, you wake up and you have the best intention and you're like, let me call this person and I'm going to do business with them and I'm going to create this and this is my idea. And let me just follow up on that. Right? And you have that intention. But then all of a sudden, what happens? you touch with the wall, right? You get to a place where, oh, there's an obstacle. And then there's another obstacle. And then there's another obstacle. You know, after two, three times, you're like, oh, you know what? I'm just not made for this. This is not for me. I just, this is just a dream. Okay, whatever. I was just a dreamer. Let me just come back to my normal life, my normal work, my normal relationships. I'll just conform to that. Or I can say, okay, what are these challenges reflecting on me? Instead of me having a challenge and then going to eat the sugar or going to smoke or going to drink or going to try to refuge myself with sex or with so many amazing things I could be doing because I'm not against sex or against anything. I'm just saying don't do it as a way to procrastinate. Don't do it as a way to run away from yourself. That's all. Yeah? You, you feel me? That's when you get lost. When you like, okay, let me do this, but then you're like lost in Instagram, just scrolling through like a robot, completely lost in whatever story that's not taking you anywhere. All you do is distract your mind, get out of focus, and again, prove to yourself that you're not capable, that you were going to do something, but you didn't do it because you did 10 other things, but you never accomplished that goal you really wanted to do that 
and you felt it was so important, okay? So how we do it, of course, training yourself and being a little bit more in discipline and all that works and putting limits of 10 minutes on Facebook and 10 minutes on Instagram and that, that's it. I'll just put on an arm and I'll follow that. That's it. You can do that. You can play with that for a while. That's not going to last too long, but that, that'll help. That, that'll help. Go to the core. What's creating your procrastination? What's creating your self-sabotage? What's creating that lack of self-love that you are not embodying the person you came to embody in this life? Because you're here to embody the best life ever, right? Give me a yes if you vibrate with me and you know deep inside that you are here to embody the best life ever. The best version of you. Give me a yes. I want to see you guys. I want to feel you. <laughs> oh, a lot of manifestation. People commenting with manifestation. If you are just arriving, I see a lot of new people jumping through. If you comment with the word manifestation, I will share with you the three-day manifestation challenge where I'll be talking a lot about this. I'll be sharing with you all the science. I'm not keeping anything for me. I'll share everything to you and I'll guide you every day on different practices, 15-minute practices that you can do yourself and achieve those results and get into that manifestation state I'm talking about. So if you want to do that, please comment below with manifestation and we'll send you the details. And if you're feeling a yes to manifest and embody the best life ever, please comment below with a yes. I want to see you guys own it. I want to see you guys feel it and saying yes to that because that's who you are. And the more you say yes to that and the more you accept that as your natural state, the natural state of your soul, the natural state of your highest self, the more you say yes to it the more you surrender to it, the more you listen to it because it's an inner voice that's always talking to you, always and forever talking to you, giving you signals in many different ways. Huh? The more you listen to that, the more you'll be aligned with manifestation. The more you'll be attracting those people, things, energies, experiences, money, everything you're aligning to just like that, because you are a magnet of manifestation. You came here to be a magnet of manifestation. And once you unite the electric energy of the thought, of the mind, and the magnetic energy of the heart, this is all things you can measure. You can measure the electricity created with the thought and the magnetism created with the heart. The heart is the feeling, is the emotion, is the gratitude right? You can feel it. Ah, oh, yes. Let's just tune into that gratitude, guys. Let's just tune into that gratitude right now together, taking a deep breath. Ah, oh, the gratitude of being, keep breathing. The gratitude of manifestation. The gratitude of being a creator, of being a genius, the gratitude of knowing that you are here to manifest your best life ever. Just tune into that. Breathe into that. And allow yourself to feel the gratitude. Once you understand the science and everything I'm talking about, allow yourself to sing into that energy. Allow this energy, this knowledge, this wisdom, this vibration to sing all the way into your body. Breathe into it. Ah, and relax into it. Ah, let your nervous system know that you're safe. Ah, that you're open and receptive. Ah, let your system know that it's all good. Even if your life right now it doesn't look the best right now, you're going through challenging situations, Breathe and let your system know that you're going beyond your circumstances, beyond the present moment. Ah, you're tapping into your infinite potential. Ah, 
Uh, you're tapping into the infinite possibilities available for you. Uh, you're tapping into all the ideas, all the creativity, all the support you have in order to manifest that life you're here to manifest. Ah, uh, how good does that feel, guys? When you breathe like that, how good does that feel? When you remember that, when you know procrastination and self-sabotage and distraction and all those characters in the story are just characters. How good does that feel? <laughs> Reka, yes, I can give you a link. Just comment below with manifestation and we'll send you the link to the challenge it's for free and you can have it the moment you write manifestation we will be sharing with you the all the information you need oh my god so many yeses i'm seeing in facebook so many yeses oh my god yes guys so much presence here i love you guys your presence your commitment i see a lot of quantum flow practitioners let me know let people know you're a quantum flow practitioner people want to work with you guys let them know you have uh, already embodied this and you are living your life from that space using this methodology let people know I want people to know that how committed you are please let them know that you are fully committed and that this this method has worked for you there's nothing like testimonies right if you have done the challenge also let us know just comment below so people can go and scroll because I know there's a lot of like free stuff going on and it's stuff that doesn't even work and they they just like selling you stuff at the end and they're not even giving you anything like i i know how it works guys i know how it works and i tell you like you can see the testimonies right now of all the people that have done this i think instagram can't see it but you can come to the facebook live and check it out there's huge testimonies here of people that have done the work, that have done the manifestation, not only the manifestation challenge, but they have gone way deeper into the process because they know it works. They already saw the results. So I invite you to check that. If you're like, oh, I don't know that thing about, you know, quantum science and neuroscience, and I don't know, it's kind of too woo-woo for me, even though it's science, it could be too woo-woo for me, I don't know. Come check the testimonies, you know, I, I, I'm not the one that has to talk about it. People talk about it by themselves, you know, so, so yeah, it's good to see that and ask, to reach out to them, ask them questions, like, it's good stuff, guys, because, you know, when you have something that works and, 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 and you know it works and you're seeing the results, guys, stick to it. Yeah, or you can be like the little bee that's going and just trying all the flowers, right? I used to do that. I used to be the bee that's like, tell me, let me try this method and let me try this other thing. And now I'm going to do this. And, and I was a good for nothing because I was good in many things, but really not going deep in any of them. It was a behavior I had of procrastination to actually not go deep in the process, right? It's, it's very human. But if you want to get off that loop, and really start going deep into what does science, art, and manifestation have to do in between all of them and how that actually works and how that actually gives you results right now, then I recommend you guys stick to something. Just three days, three days of this free challenge, you will feel the difference in your life. Just the first day, just the first practice we have, guys, I promise you, you are going to go deep. You're going to feel it and it's going to be like a total yes or it's going to be like, you know, this is not Quampus too crazy or he speaks too fast or I, I, I'm i not this kind of person. Okay, it's good. Then you make your decision. Don't continue. But if you resonate and you feel it and you feel my passion and, and you see and you see my life and you see that it's real what I'm talking about and you, and you, know, and you feel it and it moves you and it inspires you, Keep going. Do the three days and you'll see changes in your life just like that. So yeah, guys, if you uh, are just tapping into it, I see a lot of people jumping in the, in the Facebook Live right now, in the live stream, in Instagram. If you want to go deeper on this methodology, again, I'm offering is my free gift for you guys. Once a year, we go three days, 20 minutes a day, maybe a little more, 
you know, if you want to go deeper in the science and stuff, you can go a little deeper if you want. If not, just 20 minutes a day, that will work, I promise you. And then you go and finish the process, embody it, feel it by yourself, and you will start seeing the results right there. So if you want to do that, if that calls you, if you're kind of tired of going around and trying all these little things, but not going deep into something, comment below with manifestation and we will share with you this link to go deep on the art and science of manifestation and how to put it in practice right now, okay? And as it's something for free, guys, and it's my offer to you, the only thing I ask, because I love to see more people jumping into this, is if you can tag people into this live stream or into the, into the, into the group, the Bio Manifestation Challenge has a group already and as the, the, the moment you tap into the link, you'll get into the group, we'll give you the link for the group. You can invite people to the group too, you can invite them to this Facebook Live, to this uh, Instagram Live, like let people know this is happening uh, you're not promoting anything of my products, nothing for me. It's just a gift to humanity. And as many people we can get here and as many lives we can change together on these three days, the better is going to be for everyone, especially in these challenging times right now. So if you can share with, you know, the share button right there, if you can tag people, if you can let people know, anyone that you think, you know, wants to manifest a better life, but they're just not getting it, you know? Or maybe they're getting it, but they want to upgrade it even deeper. I invite you to invite them in, okay? So this is it for me, guys. This is what I wanted to share with you around procrastination. Observe the, the behavior. Sh shift it from the core of your nervous system and then tap into your superpowers. Tap into the power of your soul. Tap into your purpose. The more you tap into your purpose, the less you're going to be getting lost in procrastination and distraction and all that because you're just wired. You're just wired into success. You're just wired into inspiration. You're just wired into following your purpose. That just happens. You know, take some time. I'm not telling you, right? And if you're not finding your purpose right now, again, I invite you to the challenge. Many people find their purpose in challenge, okay? So if you want to join us, just, just come along. Let's do it. Oh, Margaret saying, I see people posting, I made 120K this month, yet they're crucified at a soul level because they don't have love. Exactly. I, I have clients like that all the time. I have millionaires, billionaires. We just worked with a billionaire in Dubai. And it's like, okay, that's amazing. Amazing what you manifested. They're empty. You can have all the money, all the materials, all the gold you want. And is that going to fulfill your soul? Are you tapped in to that bliss, to that wholeness, which I prefer to start there. Let me tap into the methodology to tap into that bliss, to tap into that joy, to tap into that energetic space of creativity. And then slowly I will be manifesting back from that space, right? Instead of pushing, hustling, trying so hard and manifesting stuff, but then you're super disconnected to your blissful life super disconnected to your heart, super disconnected to your purpose. Because you can have all the money in the world and not be tapped into your purpose. I call it the shadow purpose. Remember that. And my question for you is, are you living your shadow purpose or are you tapped into your divine purpose? Okay, we're gonna go deeper into that in the challenge. So I'll wait for you guys there. See you very soon. We're starting very soon. So, so happy to go deep with you all. Thank you for your love today. Thank you for your presence. If you're watching the replay, let me know. Also, I love to hear from you guys all the time. And we'll see you soon. Pura Vida.